What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock mob and XP farm. This works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. Make sure you guys watch this entire video because if you do, you will learn how to make a mob and XP farm that will give you a ton of loot and XP. For this farm, all you'll need is two water buckets, a stack and 12 stairs. By the way, you guys can use any stair blocks that you want. Eight observers, one lever, four pistons, three torches, eight campfires, 50 ladders, four buttons, two chests, one trident, one hopper, one microwave hopper, one rail, about 32 and a half stacks of solid blocks. By the way, you guys can use any solid blocks that you want. About 13 and a half stacks of slabs. And finally, about seven and a half stacks of glass. The first step is to take some solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want. Then build up 50 blocks. The reason why we're doing this is to prevent mobs from spawning on the ground or in caves while we use the farm. Once you're done building up 50 blocks, then come back down to the bottom and place ladders until you get to the top. This will allow you to easily access your farm. The next step is to build one block this way and two blocks this way. Then extend out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Now just fill in this entire platform. The next step is to come over here, then place down a piston. Then turn and place one piston over here. Turn again, place one over here. And finally, place one over here. After doing this, then take an observer and place one down over here. The top arrow of the observer should be facing outwards. Now, take another observer and place it over here. The top arrow should be facing this next piston. Then place an observer over here. Top arrow should be facing outwards. Then place one over here. The top arrow should be facing the next piston. One over here. The arrow should be facing outwards. And one over here. The arrow should be facing the next piston. And finally, place one over here. The arrow facing outwards. And one over here with the arrow facing the next piston. It's important that you guys place all of your observers in the correct directions. The next step is to place four solid blocks over here. Then place two over here and four over here. The next step is to take a trident and throw it at this piston. Then place a glass block over here and a slab over here. Once you've done that, then take a lever and place it down on this piston. Now flick it once. This should cause the system to move around. Once it stops, then flick it again. This will cause the trident killer to start moving around infinitely. Now shut it off. The next step is to place a solid block in each of these corners. Then place two campfires over here, two over here, two over here, and two over here. Once you have done this, then place four solid blocks over here, three over here, three over here, and finally two over here. By the way, the reason why we added campfires is because this will prevent spiders from being able to climb out of the trident killer. The next step is to come over here, then count down three blocks, one, two, three, then on the fourth block, place a solid block. Then extend this out three blocks. One, two, three. Now crouch down and place down a double chest. Then crouch down and place a hopper. Then crouch down and place a rail. Then place a minecart with a hopper. Now place solid blocks all around this to prevent the minecart with a hopper from ever moving. This will be the collection system of the farm. The minecart with a hopper will absorb all the items from the mobs. Then it will funnel them down into this chest. After doing this, I recommend you place a block over here just so you can easily access the collection system. The next step is to come over here, then build up 18 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Once you guys are done building that, then do that again on all sides of this tube. After you guys are done making the center tube, it should be looking something like this. Now come to one side and extend out eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then come to another side and extend out eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then come to another side and once again extend out eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And finally come to the last side and extend out eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you guys are done making this outline, then fill the entire thing in with solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks you want. After you've finished creating this platform, it should be looking something like this. Now make a one block high solid block wall around the entire platform.
After making the wall, then take some stair blocks. You guys can use any stair blocks that you want. Then place them on top of the wall. The next step is to create an infinite water source. To do this, come to one side and place down four blocks. Then place some blocks all around it, just like this. Then place down two water buckets. This will allow you to use two water buckets to fill in all the water for this entire farm. Now place a water bucket in each of these stair blocks. Once you guys are done filling in all the water, it should all flow right before entering the center kill chamber. This water will push all the mobs that spawn in the farm down into the kill chamber. After you have done this, then fill in your infinite water source and break it. The next step is to come over to this center hole, then take some buttons, you guys can use any buttons that you want, then place two over here and two over here. The reason why I replace buttons is because mobs will see buttons as full blocks, so just in case they get stuck over here, they'll walk off into the center of the kill chamber. The next step is to come over to one corner of the farm, then come diagonally one block out, and place down four solid blocks. One, two, three, four. Then break these three blocks. Once you have done this, then place down three solid blocks. One, two, three. Then break these two blocks. Then place three solid blocks again. One, two, three. And break these two blocks. Then do that again. And once more. Then finally do that one more time. Once you guys have done this, then extend this out 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Once you're done extending it out, it should be one block away from the other edge. Now, repeat that on all of these blocks. After doing that, you should have a total of 6 rows. The next step is to come over here, then place down 3 blocks, then break these 2 blocks. Now extend this all the way across until it's meets the end of this row. You guys are going to want to repeat doing that above all of these rows. So basically place down three blocks, then break these two blocks. Now extend it until it gets all the way across. Once you guys have finished making that second layer, then take some glass blocks and place them all along the bottom of that second layer. You guys are going to want to do this on each of these rows. The reason why we're placing these glass blocks is because when mobs spawn, they get pushed off by the glass blocks, so they'll fall into the water and into the kill chamber. By the way, all those spiders will not get pushed off by the glass blocks, they will still automatically walk off these rows and into the kill chamber. The next step is to come over here, then place down three solid blocks, then break these two blocks. Now, extend this all the way across. Once again, do this above each row. Once you've done that, then take some glass blocks and place them all along the bottom. Once you guys are done making these layers, then come over here and build up another layer. So build up three blocks, break these two blocks, extend the blocks all the way across, then place glass below it. After making that layer, then build one more layer. After you guys are done making these five layers, your farm should be looking something like this. Each layer should be aligned and identical to the layer below it. The next step is to come up to the top, then come to one corner and place down three solid blocks. One, two, three. Then break these two blocks. Now extend out six blocks in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then come back over here and extend out six blocks in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now come to the next corner and do the same thing. So build up three blocks. One, two, three. Then break these two blocks. Now extend out six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then come over here and extend out six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys are going to want to also do that on those two corners as well. This would be the outline for the roof of the farm. The next step is to fill in the entire roof with solid blocks. After you guys are done making the roof, it should be looking something like this. Now take some slabs, you guys can use any slabs that you want, and place them all on top of the roof. This will prevent mobs from spawning up on the roof. The next step is to come up to the top layer, then place glass blocks above each row.
At this point, your farm should be looking something like this. The final step is to come down here and place two torches. Then, place a torch down here as well. These torches will prevent mobs from spawning on the Trident Killer platform and the Collision System platform of the farm. Now, I'm going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, come down to the Trident Killer platform and flick this lever. Then, all you have to do is wait. The mobs will spawn up there. Then, they will automatically get pushed down into this kill chamber where they are killed so you can collect their loot and their XP. By the way, if the farm does not work for you, then you can try switching your game to fusion mode and then to hard mode. As you guys can see here, you can collect all the XP over here, and all the drops will get funneled into this chest. By the way, if you guys hold a looting 3 sword, you will be able to get more drops from this farm. This is because the looting sword effect will get applied to the Trident Killer. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Mob and XP farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!